this is not for everyone. How do we drive a ship? This is how we drive a ship. And Natalie will show us the real job of the cadets at times. It is not just uh, on bridge and you know just uh, studying but it is what was the toughest moment you faced on board? This one's <laughs> That's the life at sea. What's up guys, welcome back to another day at sea. <laughs> this is our tech cadet Natalie from Denmark. As you must have seen in the previous videos, if you haven't, you can go back and check them. And today we're going to follow her on her journey of how her day is on board and what are the toughest moments she faces as a girl on board, the best part about shipping, the worst part about shipping and so on and so forth. So Natalie, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's sure. follow Natalie right now. So as a duty officer on watch on the bridge, I explained to Natalie about the ballast operations and uh, the fire fire isolations, everything, you know what happens in general on the on my watch. And uh, Natalie, I hope you're understanding few things over here. I know it's a bit complicated, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. It it's is. overwhelming, right? It's a, also because everything is so new, like all Correct. new systems and everything. And a big ship and a like big this, ship, yeah. yeah? So it's not so easy. In fact, uh, how was your first day when you saw all this equipment? Natalie? Yeah, I was like, quite like quite overwhelmed. Uh, yeah, people have been so patient with me. So uh, <laughs> everything's so good. We, we we are trying our best to uh, make you learn because when I was a kid, it was overwhelming for me as well. I was scared all the time. You know what will happen if I press this? Yeah, yeah. Press this. But the best advice I would like to give all of you uh, as new joiners is that play with the buttons, but in supervision with the deck officers so that. If anything goes wrong, they can correct it. So now what we're going to do is ask Natalie what is her primary role on the bridge as a cadet and what she does on the bridge. So Natalie, what generally happens? Um, because this is my first time on a vessel, yes. I uh, used to like just follow the duty officers Correct. and then uh, learn all about the navigation equipment on board. Yes. Um, so that's uh, that's what I do mostly. <laughs> mostly. And like uh, how... like. She starts in the morning from 8 to 12 on deck, then she comes on the bridge with the second officer and from 12.30 to 3.30? Yeah. Till 3.30 in the afternoon, she's on the bridge working with the second officer, also checking out all the navigation equipments, following the books which we have behind, as you can <laughs> see, a lot of books. So that's her first role on board. Yeah. yeah. And Natalie, uh, which is better, the bridge or the deck? Uh, it depends, like it can be boring on the, on the bridge sometimes, but yeah, it can it also is. be boring on the deck. So yeah. Yeah. like a like, mix, it's, like it's a mix. pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So like right now we are on the ocean voyage, so it's a bit boring on the yeah. <laughs> on the Indian Ocean, but that's the best part for a navigator because you can relax and do your other stuff, you know. Yeah. How do we drive a ship? This is how we drive a ship. So Natalie right now is just uh, doing the steering. We are right now in ocean voyage. So not much, but just for practice, you know, just the hand models like 5 degrees port and 5 degrees starboard. So uh, that's also a cadet's, uh, cadet's learning process. And in the record book as well, I know that you have yeah. to have certain hours of steering, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. So ocean voyages, definitely we can give her and during pilotage, it's a bit uh, too close yeah. for stuff. So. <laughs> All right. Okay, Nali, let's go to the deck now and uh, show the real job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So before proceeding on the deck, Natalie will explain to us what all PPE we wear so that we keep safe at all times. So Natalie, what all is important on deck? Uh, on deck, we have three things that are like very important. First yeah. of all, our helmet, Correct. then our gloves and yes. my safety shoes. Safety shoes, yes. Um, it's very important that we keep a safety in our mind like all the time. Safety first and of course, we all want to go home with like all our body parts. Correct, correct. And that's the most important thing at sea, that is to be safe and go home to your family, not in a stretcher, but by on your own foot. So that's the rule number one of yeah. being at sea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 
So Natalie's training officer is the chief officer and uh, he is responsible for the training but we are like the assistants who are helping her with uh, daily uh, jobs and whatever she gets from the chief officer so Natalie what was your today's instructions from the chief officer? Um, today's instructions was that I had to do a lot of painting like uh, the whole ship actually it's a uh, small marks on the top of the uh, air tank mm -hmm. so uh, that we can see with what kind of tank we have to uh, do the work to. So we'll uh, take you around with this camera and Natalie will show us the real job of the cadets at times it is not just uh, on bridge and you know just uh, studying but it is on ground with the painting, chipping and what not yeah? yeah all right Natalie let's go now we are entering the paint store the paint store and then Natalie will tell us what exactly she's do, doing here? Yeah, so. I've been uh, I've been cutting all of these marks here uh, for the last week. Okay. Um. So right now I have to paint this on top of the, all the the air tanks on the deck. So like stenciling the yeah. ventilation uh, flaps and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Natalie is just pouring the yellow paint which which is required, and then we go on deck and she'll show us <laughs> what she's painting exactly. So guys, as you see, uh, it doesn't matter if you're a Ma man or a woman the job is the same and it demands the same skills and same set of uh, you know responsibilities and uh, whatnot so uh, at sea there is no bias between girl and a boy oh, that's the that's the job for today <laughs> but uh, requires to be uh, under the hatch so you can see it nightly just sitting there and it's going to be a bit tough for sure yeah. but uh, Natalie, uh, what, what's happening now? What's happening now that I look here on the metal plate yeah. um, and it's it's a bit old so we are making new marks on it Okay. Uh, telling like what kind of tank this is Okay. Um, so now I'm going to paint the one, uh, the new ones Okay. Yeah? Correct, yeah, let's go Few moments later So guys um, this is the reality, like what the hell? <laughs> so it's not so not so easy stenciling, right Natalie? No, I've been using like three days of this and I probably have to redo this once but uh, that's the life at sea. That's the life at sea guys. So what Natalie now is doing is she's checking the... PG containers, uh, yeah. the one with all the dangerous stuff in it. Yeah. So uh, like almost every day we go and we count these containers and look for like leaks and damage and stuff. Correct. So that's also one aspect of this job which uh, is like assisting the chief officer and the deck, deck uh, guys that you can check the DG and all of that. So it is also part of this uh, learning because she will learn how a DG is identified, the fire hazard, the spillage hazards etc etc and we'll talk about it more in the IMDG uh, video I make. So finally Natalie's deck work is over. And we will now ask her a few important questions which I believe will be helpful for you as well. So starting with Natalie, number one question is what was the toughest moment you faced on board? I think the toughest moment was like knowing everybody like so many new people with like new names and new stuff like mm -hmm. when everything is new so it was a bit tiring. Um, so that that was probably the like the worst part the of worst it. Part? Yeah. What is the best part about life at sea? I think it's probably like on the bridge looking at the waves because it's never the same. It's like different from like each day, even though it's just water and going like on deck and feeling like the weather and the warmth change from day to day. Beautiful, beautiful. Guys, actually that's one of the best answers being in the heart of nature and uh, exploring it and feeling it. I yeah. think <laughs> for me also it's like I uh, truly, uh, uh, I mean, uh, what do you say? I agree with you on that fact so Natalie the most challenging part the most challenging part is that this is so different from school like I've only been in uh, maritime school for six months and then I came here on board uh, of this vessel and there's a lot of things that I haven't learned in school that I have to learn here and a lot of things aren't the same so especially all these uh, container checks that we do daily that's uh, that's like that's really tough because I haven't learned anything about it in school <laughs> okay Makes sense Natalie and uh, it indeed is a bit challenging at first but eventually 
you practice 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 and you get better yeah. and then it's just history natali <laughs> what's up what's happening with the food yeah finally coffee break and some food <laughs> and some food so what are we having today well um, today's bit special because we're changing the time so yes. lunch is skipped so now we're just having a bit of a snack Snacks. before dinner So uh, we have a really good chief cook here. Yeah. So there's a croissant and a cinnamon roll. And a cinnamon roll. So, <laughs> so Natalie, coming on to that point, like, how is the food on board? Like, uh, how, did you find it difficult to adjust with the food part? Um, like, literally not, because in Denmark we eat like a lot of different stuff. We try to like international with like the food culture. Yeah. So out here we have like a food from like if the Philippines or India and even Denmark. So we we are eating a lot of different kind of stuff and a lot of vegetables as well. So no problem, yeah. No. So you are you happy with the food? I'm I'm literally really okay. happy. So Natalie, uh, what is your story? Because you told me you are you were from the army. So could you yeah. tell the audience? Uh, I did spend like three years uh, in the Danish army um, before I came here. Okay. Uh, I was deployed to Estonia like for six months. So you were an army. Personal. Yeah, yeah. I was a, I was a gunner on uh, one of the Danish vehicles. Yeah. Guys, can you imagine like, 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 I wanted to join the army always. Now I have a lady officer over here. Like, it's, it's really commendable. Well, I wasn't, I wasn't an officer in the Danish army. Oh, I, I mean, was like the lowest in the hierarchy. It'll take some time, right? It takes some time always. But uh, then, uh, then you plan to switch over to shipping. Yeah. Yeah. So, any reason behind that? Um, the sea is quite fascinating to me. Uh, I love like sailing at home on like sailing boats. So okay. it's like, how can I combine like yeah. my free time passion with like work? Natalie, how does it feel to be the only women seafarer on board a ship filled with all guys <laughs> from different nationalities? So, do you face like a big challenge or something you want to tell the audience? Um, not yet. Like you said yourself, we are. A lot of people from different cultures, yep. so being a female is not like really a problem. Um, we're here for the same thing, like learn a lot and have some experiences and like do our best job to be honest. So, uh, so so far it has been uh, no like a discrimination between your job and our job, right? Nothing at all. Like I'm ha I'm having a good time. That's that's mm -hmm. good to know. So uh, so Natalie, before closing this video, I would also like to ask you. Or rather, you telling the audience, what are some tips and tricks for being a first-time cadet on board? Something which uh, which can be helpful for people watching this. Yeah. Um, first of all, I would recommend just bring a lot of gym clothes and bring a lot of books or like entertainment entertainment equipment like uh, movies, books, and stuff. Um, and then just go ahead and be be like positive and be curious. Just ask a lot of questions because people. Usually, you want to talk and tell them about the True. job out here. So yeah, be curious. I really like the fact that you said get some books and all <laughs> because you get some time and uh, not just study books but also fictional books yeah. or normal good reads. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, <laughs> and give it a like and share, please. So guys, I hope I hope you found this video informative as well. And uh, I thank Natalie again for uh, being so supportive in this video. Uh, see you in the next video from the life at sea, somewhere in the east.